everyone, welcome to 27. I have driven this TTS R8 once before, but I only got a very short drive in it. So I was super, super keen to actually get to have another go. And uh, Richard from TTS Performance kindly obliged and gave me the car for the afternoon. So, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it for a drive, tell you a little bit about the car, and then also I'm gonna get a mate of mine and take him out in it just to show you how a normal person reacts to a car like this. Okay, so this is a twin supercharged R8. It has a 750 horsepower. It is an absolute beast. Now the general R8 stuff just applies to this car as well. So it's got a really nice Audi interior, really nice switch gear. Generally speaking, lovely place to be, lovely car, lovely handling car. It's got a four wheel drive system, but most of the time drive goes to the rear of the car. So it handles pretty well. It's not a heavy feeling, horrible four wheel drive beast. Engine wise, the standard car, it's a nice engine. It's, 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 it's perfectly lovely. But with this kit on it, it's something else altogether. So this is charge cooled. It has a 50-50 water ethanol mixture. TTS do a kit for this, which is, um, I think, fully fitted. It's about £20,000 plus the VAT. Now, when you consider that you can get one of these cars for sort of 35, 40 grand, that means that for £60,000, you've basically got yourself a really, really monstrously quick car. I mean, it must be, I don't know, to the level of a 488. No, it's quicker than a 488. It is a quick car and supremely capable as well. Okay. Right, so first of all, got to switch off the traction control. Right. Because otherwise it will so pogo. Got 3,000 revs and they've. Yeah, pretty much. Man is faster than that. I know, mate. Mm. It's wheel spinning in third. Amazing. Now this feeling in my chest, I, do, I feel like I've just taken some drugs. <laughs> it's sort of adrenaline and it's just amazing. Um, I mean, yeah, thanks for, wreck. yeah, thanks for that, Basil. You enjoyed it? It's, no. <laughs> A bit more power needed, to be honest. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Now, one of the things about this setup is there's so much power there that even with the four wheel drive, it will wheel spin in third gear. What you actually have to do, which is counterintuitive with this amount of power, is you actually have to switch the traction control off. If you have the traction control on, the traction control can't handle the power that's coming through, thinks the car is gonna lose traction and cuts. As soon as it cuts, it then allows the engine to start back up and the engine violently pushes forward traction control cuts in and you end up pogoing up the road, which is deeply unpleasant. The chassis, unbelievably, can handle this power. Driving position is pretty much standard R8, which means it's really nice, really sporty, you're quite laid back. 
had plenty of room here, the cabin's really airy as well. The gear change with that open gate is really, really nice to use. It's actually quite long, longer than you'd think. But it's nice and precise and that sort of snicking motion is quite satisfying as well. So under power coming out of corners. You actually can get a little bit of really controllable drift from the back as you're just sort of thumping right out. There's so much power, but it feels really controllable. So all in all, considering this has 750 horsepower, it's really, it's really docile. It's like a little pussycat. It's so drivable. The steering has plenty of feel and it's definitely quick enough but it's not like one of those like hyperactive Ferrari racks or anything like that, which to me are just over, you know, over quick and over sensitive. It's judged pretty much right. I don't know with the new R8s whether maybe you've still got the same amount of feel or whether that's gotten worse with the new versions, but I mean, I find these pretty, really rather good. Devastatingly quick point to point car. I, I, I can't think of anything else that will be as quick as this thing point to point. It's got four-wheel drive, suspension that works on B-roads. It is a mental, mental beast. So this car will set you back 65, 70 grand. Tell me what else is there around this price range that could possibly compete with it? 750 horsepower, supercar looks, brilliant handling. Tell me what I don't know. I, you know, I'm sure there is something. Well, actually, I don't think there is. But, but let me know. For that kind of money, what would you get? Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my Instagram uh, contact number 27 on Facebook. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see you for the next one.